Yeah, you really can write amazing copy with AI, but the trick is you can't type. Don't type, stop typing. I know, what a weird thing to say. Like, how are you gonna write? With, what do we, we're gonna use crayon? No, here's the best way to explain it. This weekend, I saw this movie. I think it was called One Battle After Another. It had Leonardo DiCaprio in it, and it was awesome. It was like if uh, you took the Big Lebowski and kind of like, mixed it in with a Quentin Tarantino movie and stuff, it was wild. If you were to tell me about a movie that you liked, you'd probably say it like that, you know? It wouldn't be a big deal. You wouldn't have to sit there and think about, okay, what am I gonna say about this movie? You would just talk about it. But if I were to try to write you a letter to tell you about that movie that I watched over the weekend, it would be horrible because the minute I sat down to start typing it out, and everyone's brain does this, we self-edit. We're like, oh wait, does that sound right? Did I use proper grammar? Is the punctuation okay? And now it's gonna take 10 years, so we use AI, but AI sound horrible. So here is how to write awesome sales copy using AI without even having to type. Step one is use the right AI. I'm in something called Ojoy. The tool is Project Shepherd. This is a shameless plug because this happens to belong to my family. So step number one, doesn't matter like what you're writing for, is you just wanna get it out of your head and into AI. I call it the doing a, a brain dump, basically. So check this out. Hey, I uh, want you to help me write a sales letter about this book that I wrote. I wrote it years ago. It's called Convert 2.0, and everything I taught still applies, and it still works. It's not super long. It's like 60-something pages, give or take. So you can read it in an afternoon. It's really easy, and it makes it so, like, people already want to buy your stuff before they actually see your sales pitch. So it makes selling stuff a whole lot easier. And, uh, you know, I think I'll just paste it. I'll just paste the book below here so you can read it and then we can get to work. There we go. Ojoy is going to read this sucker and we're going to continue with the non-typing. Um, it will ask us a bunch of questions and stuff because it wants to make sure it does a good job for you. I'm just going to like be uncooperative and I'm going to say, I don't feel like answering a lot of questions. Instead, I want you to read the book completely, analyze it, learn everything you possibly can about it. And then... Give me a list of every imaginable benefit that someone could get from reading the book. It could just be an outline. So what I'm getting towards now is our second step, which is outline rough draft. The whole big picture of how to do this is you just want to brain dump everything, whether you just talk to it or you copy and paste some stuff, and then you let AI give you an outline and a rough draft, and you don't care how it sounds. You just want to make sure it's got the right information in the right order. And then step three is you make it sound cool. And it's so easy. I'll show you in a minute. So it's written me like all the cool stuff that's in Convert 2.0, which is great. So you know what I'm going to do with it? Nothing. Uh, I am instead just going to say, okay, cool. So imagine you were going to write a sales letter. Give me an outline of your sales letter. Don't write the whole sales letter. Just literally give me an outline of, of how it would be. That's all I need. Still haven't typed. So the deal with this is I don't care about the outline as long as it has the right info in it. Like I don't want it to say, hey, Convert 2.0 is about hunting elephants. Like it's not. So that's the whole point here. So I'm just gonna look at it and be like, mm-hmm, okay, this is cool. All right, and now I'll ask it to write me a rough draft. Okay, cool, go ahead and write the sales letter. Okay, check this out. So, I mean, this thing has really written a full-on sales letter now. And look at this. I went ahead and put it in a Google Doc. So obviously it's not formatted perfectly yet, but this is solid, but we're not done. All right, so now I'm just gonna copy this right here. I'm gonna open a new chat and I'll say, Hey, I'm gonna give you a, the rough draft of a sales letter that you wrote for me earlier. I want you to read every single word of it. Don't do anything yet, just read it. So, it's gonna read it. It's probably gonna ask us some stuff, that's okay. Now, let's make it sound cool, all right? So, this thing is a very long, like, real deal Holyfield sales letter. Lots of bullet points and all that kind of stuff. So, first thing I wanna do, okay, now that you've read the entire sales letter and you see all the benefits of the book and everything, I want you to give me 10 
new headline and subheadline examples, like use hardcore direct response style headlines. And they could be anything as long as they're true and they're you know relevant to what is in the copy. All right, I like all of these. Um, I like number one and number two. And I think I'll go with number two because it's like simpler. So check this out. Okay, I like headline number two. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to use that headline and subheadline, and I want you to rewrite just the first two or three paragraphs of the sales letter so that it matches the style and tone of that headline and subhead. And I want you to make it so the beginning of the letter meets the expectations that are set by that headline. All right, and that was 39 seconds of me talking. Now, here's the logic here, all right? So, Ojo is going to write good stuff for you anyway, you know? I mean, here's a, what it wrote already. It's pretty solid, but we just, like, tell it to reframe the entire way the letter's written, and it'll do it for us. So, here we are, okay? How to turn cold prospects into pre-sold buyers who want to give you money before you ever ask them to buy anything. That's solid. Let me sell you something that will completely change how you think about selling. Right now, you're probably doing what everyone else does. Dude, this is so much better. All right, so here's what we can do. Now, I can say, okay, great. I want you to rewrite the rest of the sales letter in this style and tone and also include plenty of subheads and make those subheads good. All right, go. So we're officially in the make it sound cool phase, by the way. So it's rewritten the entire letter for me. And here, it's a, it's a solid one too. So I went ahead and pasted it into a new Google Doc for us. So here's the first draft. Here's the second, I didn't type anything. Here's the second draft. All I did was like tell it to change the headline and then make the rest of the letter match it. So we have that headline, but here's what's cool is we also have these subheads. Why terrible copy still wins with the right positioning. That's pretty good, that's damn good actually. You can engineer the exact same effect in your business. Are you tired of fighting for every single sale? The real secret isn't in your sales copy. What if selling could actually be easy? Dude, this is solid. And I haven't touched anything. The reason this works is because we're following the simple formula, which is get it all out of your head and tell it to find all the cool stuff. Let it give you an outline, make sure the outline's good. Then let it give you a rough draft. Then do that little tweaking trick that I showed you. And you can even program it to write like you just by giving it some samples of your writing if you want to, or write like anybody else you want. We could go on with this thing, but this is like, a way better sales letter than 99% of the Earth's population could ever write. And it took me longer just to talk about it than it did to write it. All with ojoy.ai, which you can try for free if you want to. You'll never guess where. Yeah, ojoy.ai.